Welcome to Panama's premier racetrack, Hippodromo de Juan Franco, where Freddy Rose made his debut in 1947. Welcome to Hippodromo de Juan Franco, Panama's premier racetrack. For the first time in the history of the national track of the Republic of Panama, history was made. An apprentice jockey by the name of Freddie Rose had over 30 wins in five months of activity. He made it to the professional ranks in the shortest time ever. This was the first of two history making events in his career. The second would be the first Negro to ride on a major league track in America in the modern era. Freddie Rose broke the color line in October 1959 by riding in a race at Golden Gate, Oakland, California. This was equivalent to Jackie Robinson's accomplishment in baseball. Freddie Rose was an achiever, he was also a progeny. He started as stable boy at the age of 16. He then moved to apprenticeship under the mentorship of trainer Clarence Allen. He served as groom on Native Hurricane. And three months later was pronounced fit for war. Freddie made history with every professional move he made. This was historic and unprecedented. It was a sign of a true legend, a natural born rider. Freddie's record was impressive. After five months of activity, he came in first 30 times. Second, 17 times. And third, 27 times. At 16 years of age, he was the best performing jockey at Juan Franco. He considered Guillermo Sanchez the best performing jockey. But Freddie was hot on his heels since South American jockeys are considered the best in the world. Freddie may have been the best in the world at that time. Apprentice Fred Rose is now considered the most consistent jockey performing at the local track. And it was just two months ago that he first rode a horse in an official race. Rose the nation's pick as Apprentice of the Year earned his distinction on the basis of his performance since October when he first rode. The native Uraka to victory. This was his first win. He started on a rampage and last Saturday when he took Sincero to eke out a decision over the hard winning strike one. He had accumulated 16 wins.
the bashful, lanky, 96-pound son of Mr. and Mrs. Henry Rose of La Boca reminds everyone of Bobby Reed when three years ago, Collegiate was on his winning ways. In a special interview, the 17-year-old jock declared that his first official mount was on Rodrigo's reputation. He ran fifth. How he felt. The little one replied. I felt good. It was two weeks later. That he scored his first win. Asked how he felt then. He smiled and said. I felt better. In that race. Rose revealed he broke fifth with Eureka, a slow starter. I just closed my eyes and pumped like a harder than a wash lady over a scrub board, he said. And when I opened my eyes, I had passed the finish line with the pack behind me. Rose, like Bobby Reed, first went on a horse in his life when when Clarence Allen took him over for groom on the native hurricane. Three months later, the maestro pronounced him fit to go to war. When Clarence Allen took him over for groom on the native hurricane, three months later the maestro pronounced him fit to go to war. The little one is a student at La Boca High School where he has but one more year to graduate. He likes to ride and may continue after graduation. He considers Guillermo Sanchez the best performing jockey at the track today. Freddy Rose, shown above after his sensational ride on Jack L, December 4th. Rose caught the attention of the fans in this race when he virtually left the starting gate seemingly undisturbed by his drawback. The little one kept his mount, a trailer, to the far bend where he started his advance on the outside. Swept around a strong class B field entering the stretch to win going away. 